we all had our own role models or idols that we looked up to to help inspire and motivate us. Maybe a family member, a friend, someone famous, or even a race car driver. Well, believe it or not, race car drivers had idols too when they were growing up. I had two racing idols growing up. Uh, one was Jeff Gordon in NASCAR, and, and my other one was a local racing here in California, Randy Bootiner. I uh, love love Jeff Gordon, obviously. Uh, you know, coming from a sprint car background, open wheel background, uh, you know, making it big in NASCAR. It's just you know, whatever reason, when I was young, uh, he became my favorite. Cheered for him for a long time, and uh, it was great to get to meet him. Uh, you know, now actually uh, get to know him a little bit. You know, the older I got here, and then. Uh, the second one was uh, Randy Bootiner. He was a deaf sprint car driver uh, from California. And then he was just always exciting. Uh, every time we went to the sprint car races there, uh, he's still on the gas. Uh, he always did exciting things. And, and every time I went down to the pits afterwards, he would sign autographs, take pictures, and uh, it was just a good time. So i uh, never forget him. Uh, Kenny Brightville was my favorite driver growing up and kind of guy I idolized. And that was because he used to go to Reading Fairgrounds on Fridays and Sundays. And, Friday nights, my uh, grandfather would pick me up from elementary school, and he was a Chamberlain fan, so I couldn't be a Chamberlain fan. And, and Kenny was the next best thing at that time, and then Toby, and, and I went with Kenny. So once I got racing with him, he's an awesome racer and a clean racer, and you know, just proved to me that much more he was a guy worth idolizing. I would say Richard Petty. I wasn't uh, really big in the dirt track racing growing up. So it was more of the NASCAR thing, and Richard Petty was the king. So. That was something you want to be like and hopefully be one day. So I have to say him. I didn't go to my first sprint car race until I was like 13. So it was hard for me to, to know all the sprint car legends. My idol was the uh, the doctor, Danny Johnson, growing up uh, from when I was a little kid, you know, four or five years old, uh, watching at Ransomville Speedway. And then, you know, uh, the pleasure to be there with my family who owned and promoted the track. And I was really lucky to always have a good seat up in the tower and watch the doctor, uh, you know, boat jump and just do all sorts of crazy stuff. I think I remember the first time um, when it really turned me on when I was really little, probably 1980-something, being a good fan, or being a good a fan of his. He, there was twin 20s, he flipped off the bank, the first one came out, with the roof off, the body all smashed up, and went from the back to the front, the second 20, it was on an awesome show. And, um, I don't remember much from when I was that little, but I, I definitely remember that, it was pretty cool. My idol was uh, Doug Wolfgang. Uh, you know, I got to see him race when I was a kid, and he was from South Dakota, the border in North Dakota. So he was uh, did amazing things uh, when I got to see him, and uh, being that close to home kind of made him my ultimate idol. Uh, growing up, my idol was Roger Phelps. You know, he was uh, he was a uh, you know local racing hero. You know, and I was fortunate to be around him, and fortunate to grow up around his career and uh, it's kind of a family deal, and it just is what got me hooked. Your dad, because uh, he just won everywhere I went, and it was fun to watch. And uh, and I also liked Horton when I was a kid because my dad had to race against him when he drove for statewide. So I guess that made my dad hate him having to race against all that money. So I think I only liked him to just to go against my dad. But that was it. A racing hero. Uh, it was Doug Wolfgang, which uh, the first time I ever saw him race, I was 16 years old at Eldora, and he was running the house number four, and uh, just kind of fell in love with the way he raced, uh, how he raced, how he carried himself. Uh, Wolfgang, the name was cool, you know, uh, but I just really, really liked the way he raced, and uh, I've always tried to. Pat, not really patting myself after him, but I tried to drive like Doug Wolfgang. I mean, nobody's ever going to drive like Doug Wolfgang, but I tried to drive like him. Growing up, uh, it was obviously my dad. Uh, I grew up going to the wall. My dad ran, ran wall, and uh, we switched over to dirt. It was East Windsor Friday nights and here Saturday nights. And obviously, it was your father and Kenny Brightville were probably the two people that, uh, that stick out in my head. I would say a lot of them. I mean, growing up in, in Central New York, I was I was spoiled. I got to see the likes of, um, you know, Steve Payne and Alan Johnson, Bob McCready, and, you know, all those guys, Danny Johnson, battling night in, night out. I mean, it's tough to pick a favorite out of them guys. Growing up, my racing idols, I had two of them. Uh, my first one was Jimmy Boyd out in California. 
Uh, he was a guy that I always looked up to, and then once I started, uh, once he retired, I, I took over to uh, Brad Doty. Uh, Brad Doty was just a very personal person. That's kind of the guy I kind of model myself after now. Uh, for me, my idol was my father. Uh, he raced for 25 years and uh, did a lot with a little, made it to the Indy 500, so I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, just following his footsteps and trying to be as good as he was. Tony Stewart. Uh, pretty much because he ran everything he could. A racing idol growing up had to be my dad, I guess. Um, he raced a lot through the years, uh, my brother and I growing up. But honestly, I liked all sorts of racing back then. Well, you, you didn't have access to that much racing back then. Um, but, but I did follow IndyCar racing and NASCAR, I guess. And, you know, since those days, I do follow every type of racing and, and love, you know, seeing who's doing what and, and watching the guys that, that went a lot. Actually, I started with the rating when I was eight years old. and. Uh, there was a car there, a 27, that was a car that was, uh, was near my shop, and Hal Reifinger drove the car, so I guess you could say that was the first guy I rooted for as, uh, when I was eight years old. Uh, Pete Frazier, a uh, micro racer from Tulsa area. He raced some sprint cars occasionally, but uh, he was kind of a larger than life guy that uh, I grew up idolizing, you know, when I started racing micros and quarter midgets in Tulsa, and um, just kind of a, a local hero. Um, that uh, I think a lot of young guys uh, really looked up to uh, from the Tulsa area. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, vlog ideas, make sure to comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and come back every Wednesday for the latest.